Ever heard of gotcha cotton farms? Okay, maybe not together really, but you must have heard of gotcha and cotton farms, right? Still no? Well, glad you ain't that chronically online, but you probably clicked to learn about how that niche internet community can be used as cash cows. So here I go. By the way, this is the disclaimer before we proceed, so from this point on, your discretion is advised. Thank you! Hello everyone, I'm Flutalendi, a commentary YouTuber focusing on the Gacha community. Gacha has tons of creative people, but the majority of the community is under 18. With that in mind, most viewers of Gacha content are under 18 as well. Hence, are easily impressed and influenced by what YouTubers can show them. And just like any community, the gotcha community has its own toxic environment and its bad apples. But that doesn't mean everyone is like that. So what about content farms? Well, they have been spreading like a virus in the recent years of YouTube. You know, those corporations targeting kids that post daily or weekly content on one or multiple channels based on trending characters, games, shows, or even YouTubers with mega bright colors, loud effects, and clickbait thumbnails? Depending on how knowledgeable you are, some content farms can be considered pure brain rot and are here for a few things. Views, fame, and money. If you thought gotcha TikTok compilations, short re-uploaders, or gotcha heat was already bad, you haven't seen it all just yet. The channels, yeah, in plural, I'm gonna cover here are typical Elsagate content. For those who weren't chronically online in 2017, Elsagate content was an absolute plague on YouTube. Entire channels targeting kids, using characters from famous and trendy cartoon shows for kids, like Disney princesses and Marvel superheroes, and would constantly expose their audience to sexual and inappropriate content, like repeated pregnancies, needles, cheating, stripping, weirdos and creeps in general, and so on. And so, introducing the Rainbow Z catalog. We have the classic, the multiverse, the happy, the school, the Spanish, the Vietnamese, yeah, that's a lot. And just by stepping into one of their channels, you can tell something you're right. Not only do they post daily on all channels they have, the topics of their videos can go from very explicit features in every thumbnail to straight up turning a little boy inside of a cat plush into whatever that is. With the amount of followers the channels have, it seems weird that they got unnoticed by the commentary community. And yeah, even the school account isn't sparing Pomni from those atrocities. The Rainbow Z channels are from one company named MMG Global or MMG Media, who possess channels beyond just gacha, like Minecraft for instance, which they are really, really proud of on Facebook. But that's not the main focus here. Each channel has their own unique description. The school one explicitly states that the characters are around 15, but many videos have them as toddlers, just saying, while other channels state an actual Copa article to justify their actions. You know, the law gacha tubers were freaking out about years ago. <laughs> but let's just read the article, maybe we'll learn more about what the company has stated in their description. So. A child is under 13, okay. They do not collect data from children. Yeah, hopefully not. Hosting platforms such as YouTube have to apply to those conditions too. Well, yeah, that, that, that that's great and all. But that doesn't justify why such abominations. And I didn't even dive into the videos themselves. The animations are... um what you would expect from content farms, sloppy and unrealistic, 
overstimulating effects and sounds, disturbing topics, and very expressive faces to hide the lack of quality. They go on topic for a fraction of seconds of the video and the rest are very old re-uploads, unconnected to the topic, just to get as much watch time and revenue as possible. In other words, and to conclude this video, Rainbow Z and all affiliated channels are possibly one of the worst Elsa Gate-like content farms I've ever seen. And it had to be in the gotcha community. I would really appreciate if we could help each other out, uh, spreading awareness on such channels. And I guess I'll stop here for today before my brain uh, turns into mush. Stay safe and have a nice day or night, everyone.